Lock and load, Gungeoneers. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Uh, this run around, I actually haven't put that much thought into I'm taking out yet. Why not the pilot? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, this time around, uh, so my episodes are going to be a little bit out of order, but I encountered a new friend. This is one of the challenge mode NPCs that I've been missing out for a while now. This is a sorceress of the gun. And she presents us with a blessing for uh, for six Hmon credits. And that blessing, uh, well, it's a little hard to describe what it does until you get into the game. Actually, it's really easy to describe what it does once you get in the game, but I'm being coy. I am going to try and uh, only purchase a uh, few items, because just in case I get a chance to go to uh, to get six keys and 300 casings, I'd like to unlock the shortcut, and that requires 25 hegemony credits this time around. <clears throat> so, you know, elevator shortcuts. Still a thing. But let's talk about the sorceress. Now, uh, more than likely this, is, this run's going to start off like, well, any other run. Uh, what's different about it is now I'm involved in a gun game. Um, what happens with gun game is, after a certain amount of time, after a certain amount of damage done to enemies, uh, your gun will switch. See, now I have the Heck Blaster. I want to say it may be based on time spent using the gun, it may be spent on, or it may, may depend on, uh, I know, I know for a fact it's also based on damage done. But every so often, your gun will change to a brand new gun. Uh, it does come complete with new ammo and everything like that. I'm not sure about how synergies will work exactly, but it's a thing. I want to say... Hmm. I forgot what I wanted to say. It'll come back to me. I want to say that you can get guns that normally you don't have unlocked yet, but I don't know if that's true or not. Either way, well... Uh, I don't necessarily recommend doing things like a cursed run at the same time as a gun game run, because if you go over a certain amount of curse, then, you know, you're going to have problems immediately. And you can see here, um, well, the shopkeeper's here. Um, I don't know. I can't drop any of these passive items, so unfortunately the cell creep's no good for me. I could buy a key, but at this point, um, well, any time that you would pick up a gun, it will automatically switch your gun to a new one. I think you can still find ammo as a drop, but otherwise, uh, not too much will happen. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, dang it. Oh, I did not, did not notice I got the red. Oh, there's the key. Found it. There's the boss. You can still get passive items, and of course passive items are as important as ever. So I'd recommend using those. <clears throat> but if you, if at any point you pick up a gun, then you will immediately... Well... Oh, hello. I didn't expect it to change that quickly. This is the tearjerker. It's a reference to Binding of Isaac. Sort of the way... Oh, hello. That, this is a new gun already. Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's a little... Playing a gun game is a little disorienting just because of how quickly the guns can change on you. If you find some particularly... particularly good weapons, like... I'm probably not going to have the machine fist for long. And, in fact, it's gone. So yeah, it, it's definitely more than a little bit disorienting when you suddenly... Just like that, I fired my weapon and it changed mid-firing. So, yeah, it, it's a thing. Um, gun game is a little hard to get used to, especially if for some reason you're an idiot like me and keep turning on cursed runs at the start of it. Um, it, it gets a little dicey. Um, what I'm going to do here is I am going to down, go down to the oubliette because it gives me more chance to get money. And I am going to need as much money as possible. At this point, I'm not really spending that much. 
And I'm certainly not getting whatever's in this chest. Like another key. I, I lied. I mean, I could use the key. Maybe. We'll see what the other chest is. <clears throat> and maybe this time, uh, I will finally get all the master rounds. But I doubt it. I've been having bad luck with that so far, and I fully expect that to continue. But yeah, I don't know if Gun Game will give you guns that you have not already unlocked. But... I don't know. We'll find out. I do know it's nice to uh, not have to usually worry about... Well, I only have so much ammo, and this is, you know, normal room clearing, and I don't want to use these guns. Well, you don't have a choice anymore, buddy. Alright, let's see. That's it for this. I've not found any passive items, so that's, that's unfortunate. But that's life, you know. That's how it goes. Who do we got? Gatling goal. Oh! And usually when you enter a boss room, it will change again on you. For now, we have the Sirius Cannon, which is a uh, big old Sirius Sam reference. It is not one of those ones that does so much damage that I don't anticipate there to... Yeah, and it's gone. So, you know. Ah, I got stuck on the dam. Are you kidding me? Well, so much for that master round run. I did not expect the table to get in my way. But that's life. Who knows? Eventually, I will get master rounds. But it certainly hasn't been in the last couple rounds. Oh, hello. New gun. It's the mermaid. A siren? It's a siren, actually. Whatever it is, I have it. Take that armor, change my gun, and as you can see, I didn't actually get the helix. I got the robot's left hand. Oh, hello. Another key, and as soon as I pick up the mailbox, now I have the crescent crossbow. So that's, that's fine. Gun game is definitely a little bit confusing, and it's... It's not a bad way to start learning all the different guns of the Gungeon and trying to get good at it, but good luck. And really, uh, for a while I had trouble with this one, but there is another sort of challenge mode that will definitely be a much bigger problem for me. And there we go. New weapon. Single action army. I'm pretty sure... Oh, hello. Unicorn horn. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> Unicorn horn's one of those ones that does so much damage you won't see it for very long. And now it's the blooper. Wow, it, it, it's going pretty quickly on me. And back to the Heck Blaster. Okay. I didn't expect to see the same weapon, but here we are. Oh, the, uh, Particulator. This is a really good weapon. It's, it's super good. It fires at a large beam, but then, uh, then the large beam uh, explodes into smaller bullets that will home in on enemies. You kinda like the, uh... Okay. Come back to this room. I don't like it already. Um, kind of like the Scrambler, but mm, different. Particular. Uh, I still think probably the Scrambler is better because it's more common than the Particulator. But it's uh, it's not bad. Particulator is not a bad gun by any means. And oh, hello. <laughs> Too bad I won't get to keep this one for long either. No, hey, it's another... Oh, that was an idiot. Yep, that was a mistake. I always have trouble with these kinds of secret rooms, or these kind of trap rooms, because I usually just dive into the water like an idiot. Because I am an idiot. Uh, I'm going to leave all this stuff. Um, is there anything I can sell? I can sell junk. Oops. Sorry, dude. I didn't, I didn't mean to. That was a mistake. There we go. Have junk and be free. Ooh! 
Ooh, okay. Change, change weapons again. What have, I, what have I got? The, uh, sawed off. Dang it. I did not want to blank there, but I did. The sawed off is not a very good weapon for this range because these enemies are just a little bit outside of the range. Ooh. Ah, dang it. Oh, hello. Uh, blasphemy. Okay, sure. <laughs> wow. I, yeah. Gun games are very, can be very disorienting. And grenades. Because, of course, what better way to beat a grenade than getting involved in a, in a sword fight? Hmm. The judge. And that gave me the snowballer. Okay, sure, why not? And now I've got Thousand Needles, which that went quickly. Ooh, I... dang. I did not expect those bullets to come out as quickly as they did. Polaris. And there's some ammo, which, cool, why not, I guess. Cool, cool, cool. What do we got? It should, uh, yeah. Uh, what have I got? Oh, the Zilla Shotgun. It's a Shadow Warrior reference, and it's gone. <laughs> and it's gone. Nope, won't open this time. So, we actually, I am going to spend a key on this, because this looks like probably our last NPC up here. And indeed it is. Uh, I'm going to have to... I don't, uh, I don't like this guy, I'll be honest. He's, uh, he's a big old jerk. But uh, it's necessary. And this is the, uh, the glacier. I guess the boss must have the uh, the big key, the cell key. Glacier should be fine against him. It has small explosions, it'll slow him down. <clears throat> and now we're on to big iron. Okay, okay. And it's the Molotov launcher. How super. How great. How... what a super... super fun... super good weapon. And the Blunderbuss. Okay. Still better than Molotov Launcher. Oh. And now we have the, uh... we have the bullet. It fires pistols. Hello. Trident? Trident. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen that quickly. And here's the fish in a barrel. Uh, it should be noted for those of you trying to fill out your ammo nomicon. Uh, what do I have? Oh, the Shades Revolver. Neat. Um, if you're trying to fill out your... Um, what's it called? Your ammo nomicon. Um, guns that you get given to you in this mode do not count. Um, so if you if you get given Polaris and you haven't found it yet, then it, it won't count for your for your completion. <sighs> this jerk. Daisuke um, is challenge mode. And challenge mode is really hard. And I haven't beaten it yet. That's all you need to know about him for now. Uh, he came out as part of the supply drop update, and I still haven't beaten challenge mode without dying. It's, um... Yeah, that's kind of a sore spot. I'll get there, I guess, eventually. <clears throat> K. 
Can't wait for those runs. Anyway, crown of guns. It fires bullets in every direction. It's horribly inaccurate. In fact, accuracy is not really what this gun is for. Oh, hello. Hexagon. Cool. Okay, yeah. No, I'm, I'm okay with losing the crown of guns so soon. That was a giant miss on my part. Huh. Oh, that was a miss too. I'll hit him eventually. I was kind of expecting there to be more... Oh, hello. Uh, Demon Head. Shadow Warrior reference. And back to the... Hexagon. Huh. Uh, this is the Freeze Ray, I think. Or is this the Moon... No, this is the Moon Scraper. Uh, yeah, it, it fires out a beam that bounces off walls. And now we have the Gungeon Ant, which shoots out little bubbles of, uh... It shoots out bubbles of oil which then can then be set on fire when you reload the gun. But you may be able to predict this. Um, things that set enemies on fire are not very good against muzzle flashes. I mean, you might be able to predict that one, but it's, it's there. It's a thing. All right. Yeah, the Gungeon Ant, it's a dual, dual type weapon. You, that starts out in the little shooting oil, they bounce, and then when you turn it around, you shoot fire out of its butt, because that's how ants work. You know, butt fire. It's a thing. Yep. I can see it's not super... Ah, dang it. Not super effective against some enemies, but it it tries. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of oh, this is the elephant gun. I'm not a fan of the gungeon ant. Um remote bullets. C4 ration. Yeah, all of them could backfire on me, honestly. I'm not happy with it. Here's the crest room, not worried about that. The ration could be okay. C4, I'm probably not going to use that much. Um, remote bullets, uh, just... I don't feel right about them right now. Gun game is going to be weird enough as is. So the elephant gun is a... Oh, one of the... Oh, it's a camera. That changed quickly. <laughs> the camera's a charged weapon, and it's not very good, as you may be able to tell. It, it could use work. I have... So, the one thing the camera really does have going for it, it, it is truly a full, room we, it is a full room weapon. So if you can hide behind a wall and take pictures and you'll hurt enemies all day, it, it just needs a lot of work for it to be particularly damaging. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the reason I point out the tearjerker, that's what this is, is sort of a Binding of Isaac weapon. You notice it's very, very strange on your momentum. And as you move around while shooting Tears and Binding of Isaac, uh, your your angle of momentum will change which way the Tears fly. Oh, Flare Gun. Oh, okay, sure. I guess. If you have to. Alien Engine. Not great, but very high damage. Nothing there. Secret Room down here. Nothing there. Alien Engine is extremely high damage, it's just you have to be close enough to use it. Oh, hello. Little bomber. It's... it's okay. It's not terrible for a brown chest item. <clears throat> hey, nice. I'll take those. Yeah, wax wings. I will absolutely take these. Um, these could be handy. <clears throat> Let's see, what else we got? Yep, that. Yeah, that's the big thing about the little bomber. It does have an extremely slow reload time. Yep. Yep. 
I bounced that bullet that way on purpose. So the Zilla shotgun, I, I, didn't t I did not get to talk about it much earlier. Um, it functions like a regular shotgun, or you can charge it up to fire out the entire clip at once. Um, it's not bad either way. And we're back to the Sirius Cannon. Um, Sirius Sam, they had this weapon that let you shoot out giant cannonballs. Uh, it had to be charged up, and the cannonballs would bounce and do massive amounts of damage. It hasn't changed. Um, this is the Jolter, reference to Warhammer 40,000, the Bolter. We've talked about this before. What else we got? <clears throat> I'm actually doing pretty good on casings. Normally I have to do, like, a damn cursed run or something to get this done. Let's see what we got. Probably junk? It's junk. Hmm. Key, ammo, heart, heart, uh, armor? Nah, I don't need it. Famous last words. Let's see what we got. Boss room. Yes. Uh, it should change my gun as. Yep, there's the bait launcher. Um, not the best option for this boss. Go, Tiger, go! Go, Tiger, go! Actually, the Tigers are possibly doing more damage than I was expecting. And Disintegrator. And ar that already went away. Of course. The game can never let me have good weapons for long. Especially not on a gun game. What is this? Oh, the, uh... The pot shot. Um, it shoots out ceramics, which explode, kind of, into a little... I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. Uh, particulator. Okay. Okay. Doable. Super doable. Ah, uh, she disappeared at the last moment. Uh... That works. <clears throat> Master round. Woo! And that's, again, the robot's left hand. Get out of here. I need that key. And it gave me the camera back. Yay, camera! Not, kind of, not really. No secrets here. Down we go. Yeah, I just need 80 more casings, and I should be good for the next, uh... The next one. Yee. I can dig it. Here we go. Say cheese. Nope. The Beholster. Or the Eye of the Beholster, I should say. Uh, witch pistol, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Uh, these. What is this one? The skull cracker? Is that what it's called? I don't think so. It's not bad, though. Yes, uh, what is this called? This is the Skull Splitter. Skull Splitter's really good. It's a pretty good weapon. I like it. It homes it on enemies. It's, it, it, you could certainly do worse. The only problem is sometimes the skulls, they're, they're not smart homing, so they'll, they'll run into walls. But that's okay. And back to the Jolter, already. I wonder if the game's running out of guns to give me or something. I don't know. He's just in an awkward place. Get over here. No, stop that. Stop that right now. This one is the Phoenix. Um, its big thing is that it shoots out a gout of flame at close range, which will set enemies on fire. The downside is you have to be at close range to do that. At least take out one of those guys. Went the real one, and back to Blasphemy. I was definitely expecting to see a lot more, um... A lot more gun variation so far. But that's okay. It really is. I'm doing fine. I really am. Oh, there it is. Snowballer again. Again. 
Snowballer doesn't do a lot of damage. It's big. It's big thing is that it, it freezes enemies, which is good. You can definitely do worse than freezing enemies. Is that that tentacle face is smiling? How about that? Such a happy, happy uh, kill of it. Nope, oh, curses. Oh, crescent crossbow again. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got? Uh, vial of poison, key, ammo, I'm not using any of this. And the muncher, you can't use the muncher right now, because, you know, it's. You don't have enough guns to feed to it. Woo! Dang it. I forget what this one is, but it's pretty good. What is this called? This is the Laser Lotus. It's a reference to to another game, I think, but I can't remember which one off the top of my head. Oh, the uh, 1911. 1911 is a very solid weapon. It's a uh, it's a it's a pretty good pistol replacement. Not amazing by itself, but it's certainly better than a starting pistol. And now we're back to the sticky crossbow. Again. I thought I was on fire for a second there. But I'm not. Because wings. Alright, let's see what we got. I thought. Alright, and we're back to the silencer. I want to check out what this room is. It could be... not what I was hoping for. Oh well. <coughs> I was kind of hoping it was Winchester, since if I have the wax wings, I can cheat his game. You know, because that's a oh, charge shot. Sometimes the game will trick you like that. You'll be in the middle of firing, and then suddenly you get a charge weapon, and you can't charge anymore. Or you can't fire without charging, and you're like, Oh, it's rapid fire, what do I do? It's not. It's not rapid fire at all. That's how they trick you. Oh, and it changed Particulator. Again. Cool. Not bad. Cool. Oh, I didn't expect that to bounce off. Oh, dang it. I walked into a bullet. Shame on me. I'm getting bad at this game again. No, oh, hey, Scrambler. Just I was talking about it a while ago. <coughs> I think the Scrambler probably does a little less damage overall, but it does have a faster, faster firing rate, which might, nah, maybe, maybe it's faster DPS. I don't know. I don't keep track of this crap. Yep. Oh, nothing. Cool. I don't think there was a secret here, but you never know. Uh, what else do we got? Up there, over here. There should be at least one more chest. Oh, hello. Um, I'm trying to remember what this one is called. I think it's like the Sonic Wave or something like that. It shoots out to, uh, well, sonic waves. It's interesting. What is this called? The uh, scr Screecher. Yeah, that's it. Forces enemies to forget their purpose and conviction. And die, I guess? Their lives? I don't know. It, it fits, I, I guess. There's a heart. I'll need that later. <coughs> Ugh. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, Winchester. Not the best weapon. But I think we talked about that before. Stop being invulnerable! That 
was it? That's all that's up here. Cool. Yoink. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got? Um, when it comes to gun game giving you guns, there is no... There is no particular rhyme or reason. It, it does it does hand them to you at random. Oh, dark matter. Dark marker. Pew. Um, yeah. It it's semi randomized when it's going to when it's going to drop weapons on you, I guess. It, it's kinda weird. I don't get it. What do we got now? RPG. Uh, I'm okay with the RPG. It's got a little long reload time for my taste, but that's life. I mean, it is an explosive weapon, so you could do worse. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Mm, I don't think there was anything in here I really wanted. I've got four blanks. So you would think, with four blanks, I should be able to get the next uh, Master Round, no problem. Well, we'll see about that. Ah, oh, Scrambler. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. And the T-shirt cannon. Very bad. Terrible, even. Please change. Please change weapons. Please change. And <laughs> it's gone again. Unicorn horn disappears very quickly. Somebody mentioned I think Corsair got a buff. I don't know about that, but it's one of those guns I tend to avoid if I can. What have I got? The club! Ugh! Awful gun. It's a reference to Goldeneye, and it's terrible. Oh, it's it's like one of the only guns... Oh, hello. Uh, flash... Oh, the flash ray. I can't... I can't see anything. God, ugh. The Derringer? Oh, come on. Oh, I'm actually really surprised that didn't do damage to me. So yes, um, let this be a lesson to you, never fight a tank with a Derringer. Uh, the Derringer actually does decent damage, but it's still... Mm, nah. Uh, the pot shot again. Ah, oh, this is getting lousy. Get out of here, die already! Give me a good gun! For more than a second. Okay, this is... well, that, that worked. Surprisingly, it worked. <laughs> wow. Uh, coin Crown. Oh yeah, you get the uh, Coin Crown for having, uh, having 300 casings at any one point. Which I do. I actually completely forgot that it existed. So all I need to do is make it down to the next floor and I should be able to unlock a shortcut. And... If I have the master round... What am I... Oh, I just wasn't firing for some reason. Huh, weird. If I get the master round from floor 4, then I can complete the floor 5 shortcut, and that will be all of the shortcuts done. Nice! Very nice. Uh. Oh, um... These are going to... These are going to air in somewhat out of order. My current bounty is killing uh, Gunsingers, the uh, little caster dudes. So that's cool. Oh, it changed on me again. Oh, this is a bad... This is a bad weapon to be fighting these little guys with. Very bad weapon to be fighting little guys with. This is not my favorite. All right, get out of here! Jeez.
Oh my god! Give me a new weapon, please. Oh my god. Oh my god! Get out of here, nobody likes you! Little bomber, I regret saying anything good about you. Especially if this is the way you repay me. Uh, blooper? Still better than Little Bomber. It's about the same reload speed, but it's a lot better. I swear. Too bad there are no, uh, no, uh, what's it? Uh, pits for me to take advantage of. What do I have now? Trick gun? Boop. Hello. Trick gun. Yep. Yep. Actually, this would have been a really good room for the blooper. Because they're, it's made of nothing but bits. What is... Oh, the shot bow. Okay. I'm getting all confused here. Uh, what a, a vertebrae K. Okay, vertebrae K-47. It took me a while to figure out how to pronounce this damn gun, because it's... It, it, it's pronounced... It, it's spelled weird. But I, but I get it now. So, you know. Could be worse. But yeah, vertebrae K-47 is actually pretty much exactly like it looks. Another shot, though. Two keys? Oh, yeah, that's right, I killed a, uh... Killed a little guy. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Shotgun full of hate. And the heck blaster. Again. Again, again, again. Again. Uh heck blaster's good for this sort of room. Yeah. Small oh and it's gone. <laughs> ah, it's gone again! What is this? Get out of here! <laughs> Damn it! Every freaking time. Hey, I got a good weapon! Let's totally use it! Oh no, it's gone, and now I'm onto a terrible weapon for this room! Ah! Welcome to Gun Game. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says, the Corsair sucks. I don't... Do the bullets do more damage they get faster? Clearly, I don't know how this game works. Hey, you gun. And it's gone. Replaced by the... Uh, I think this is the Makarov. Got replaced with the Gilded Hydra. Okay. Nice. It's okay. Nice. Okay. Of course, with me only having, you know, full health, the clip size isn't great, but that's okay. Vertebrae K, again. Woohoo! At this point, I can actually start opening safe safely, because I know I'm going to have enough for the, uh, for the next floor. That's a gun. I can leave that. Whatever. Get out of your gun. Nobody likes you. I mean, it's the Betrayer. Nobody likes it anyway. Betrayer Shield? Is that the name of it? I think it's Betrayer Shield. Anyway. The Resourceful Rat can take it. I crap on him enough. He can, he can have some guns, I guess. Be very careful. 
traversing the bullet fields. I need to rush. Good enough. Boss room. Okay. There's still a lot of crap unexplored. So let's explore it. I'll come back for the heart later. Particulator, once again. Another chest. Hey, gun boots. I can definitely use those. I have no problems with being a little bit faster. <coughs> they go down well. It's a reference to down well, the game. Ah, shoot. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? The, the Emperor. Huh. Not familiar with this one. Oh, the uh, proton backpack. And it's gone. <laughs> I keep saying that about so many guns. Like I'll have a ver it's like I'll have a split second to talk about it, and it's gone. <laughs> Gun game. Nice. Alien engine. Not, uh, not great. I'll be honest with you. Definitely not... Not what I'm hoping for at this point. And there are no blanks. I would have actually liked to buy a blank. Oh, well. What do we have over here? Ooh. Lament configure. I'm not buying it. Not buying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lament configure is going to do nothing but hurt me. It hurt me at this point. Um... Lament configure him. We just unlocked early in this run by finding Daisuke. Um, it's a pinhead. I think that's Hellraiser. Was that the name of it? Hellraiser. I think that was it. Anyway, it's a reference to that movie. And mm, Wallmonger. What do I got? Snowballer. Not great. But I can still stand in the middle of this because I have the flying. And you can see here he's so frozen that he he can't fire very fast. The snowballer is doing its job. And it's gone. And it's replaced with something infinitely more terrible. Okay. 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 There went my blank. What have I got now? Shades Revolver. Shotgun full of hate. Ah, dang it. The what is this? The composite... Ah, it's gone. Composite gun. It, it was, and now it's gone. I would have actually liked to have the composite gun for a while. That makes me sad. Reload, dammit! Was this the flash ray again? Disintegrator. Not great for this fight because it's very mobile, but that works. <sighs> Ooh, boy. Okay. So... I did not complete the shortcut today, but that's... that's okay. I won't cry. I told myself I wasn't going to cry, so I won't, even though I want to. So the goal of Gun Game is to kill the dragon, and once you kill the dragon, then you get, uh, you get a special, a special thingy. There we go. Yes, take these. And take my Hmon credits. And a powerful artifact from Chamber 4. So he needs a master round. Which I could not find this time. Nail gun! Ugh! Gross! The worst! Literally, the only redeeming quality is that it has pushback, and it ne you never have to reload. That is it. That is the only redeeming quality. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, look, I reloaded. Woo!
There we go. Better weapon. And the charge shot. Well, I actually kind of expected that to kill a guy. But, you know, whatever. And cool. The shop, uh, I might buy explosive rounds. They can't hurt. Much. That was a giant miss. Oops. Hey, a chest. Hey, an ammo lid. So now I have the gold and the copper. Oh, Mega Hand. I didn't even notice. Neat. Mega Hand, good weapon. But we've talked about it before. Okay, I kind of expected at least one of those to hit, but maybe not. Banana. Banana. Hey, it's the Lost Adventurer. Neat. I could use his help. For sure. We'll help him out. Worst he can do is give me garbage. Again. See, I can't tell if the banana is necessarily a worms reference, or if it's just a reference to like holding a gun like a or holding a banana like a gun. It 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 might be both. I I honestly don't know. That was a miss, but it still killed. Nope, got the uh, screecher again. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, you can uh, stun enemies with the Screecher, I guess. What do I have? Makarov. Yep. Rubidine, not a bad weapon. It bounces. That's its big thing. It bounces a lot. Actually, I think this one's the Rubidine prototype. Either way, good weapon. Not bad. It's very, uh, very spammable. Does does these does decent damage. The crutch. This could be really good. Could be really bad. I'm not decided yet. Um, the crutch will help your bullets. Um, it'll help your bu bullets find enemies. Um, bullets will try to zoom in on enemies. It can be good, it can be terrible. Actually, I think I may have gotten it before on a, on a different run. I don't recall. Oh, the, oh and it, the gun actually changed to the Rubidine Mark II. Um, this is the full Rubidine. It does more damage and bounces better, I believe. I think. Oh, hello. Did not expect that. Oh, it's the Mega Hand again. Pew pew! See, you can tell the Mega Hand is not a legitimate reference because when you... you can have more than, uh... you can have more than four shots on the screen at once. Obviously a loaded grab. My... my Mega Man immersion is ruined. Give me that chest. It's a gun! Woo! And I'm back to the Winchester. Okay, great. The left hand. I have not actually used this yet. And outside of the robot's past. It's, uh, it's a good gun. It's a really good gun. And it's gone. One thing I don't like about the Helix is it has a really long reload time. 
you know, one thing that I don't like about the Helix. The only one, obviously. Clearly. But with the, uh, with the what's it, the uh, crotch, it might be, might be doing more work. Can't tell. Uh, let me see here. What else we got? Lots of stuff to explore, actually. Actually, I don't see Crush doing any work here. Okay, well, you know, whatever. Oh. I got the shot, bow. <laughs> I did not, not see that. Ah, dang it. Get away from me. Where is he? Ah, shoot. Yeah, the shot bow's not great either. Fairly long charge time. Um, you know, whatever. What have I got? Oh, the uh, the balloon gun. It gives you flight, and it also it's really powerful. But as soon as you take a hit, then you then it pops, and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, gun game and you can see these tornadoes are still going around and doing damage. Balloon gun is really good. It's just if you get hit, then it goes away forever. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? What do we got? Map complete. The micro easy, I think this is. Might be the Mac Ten. No, I think I think it's the micro easy. Machine pistol, actually. Either way, it's not. It's meh. Let's see. This one is the machine pistol. Yep, machine pistol. Um. Hmm. A stuff star. Neat. I have temporary invulnerability. Let me see here. I don't believe I can afford armor. Nope. Alas. Oh well. Time to take on the boss. And, eh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I might find crap again. What do we got? Vertebrae A. Yep. <laughs> Crestfaller, not bad. Oh, bait launcher, that's not good. Yeah. What is this? Charge shot. Okay. What have I got now? M16. Okay. Usable. Definitely usable. Or just the M4. Screw it. Save me. Sa save me for myself, Star Plush. Oh yeah, this is why you don't want to uh, fly above the dragon's... Uh, above the dragon when you have flight, is because he will call down gigantic waves of bullets. That's how you, ca you can't... you can't cheese the dragon, folks. Nice try. Trick gun? Nope, this is a S SAA, I think. Whoa! Whoa! M1911, okay. <clears throat> ah, shoot, I took a hit. Oh well. And it's gone. That was the Gungeon. It's a it's a pretty nice weapon. And it's gone. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Doing good. Doing fine. Took a hit, but shame on me. You know, it, it is what it is.
Oh, the gun changed on me. It's the duck hunt now. Okay, cool. Those ducks look really big, actually. I mean, they're still not good enough, but... What do you, what do, you do? Oh, I think, uh, I think Duck Hunt has a synergy with the stuff, with the stuff Star. Because they're both Nintendo games. And the gun changed again, and now it's the Rad Gun. Yeah. And it's probably going to change on me again here immediately, right when I get it up to decent damage. Yep, and grenade launcher. Okay. Usable. Definitely usable. Boom. And it's probably going to change again. Let's see what our last option is. I think during boss fights, uh, the gun changing goes by a slightly different metric. Um, it will change based on M16 again, okay. Um, it'll change based on how much damage you do, or a certain amount of time spent in the fight. Nice. <coughs> and that'll do it. And for completing the gun game, we unlock Gunther. Gunther is a very special boy. Um, you may notice that this entire run I haven't been getting hegemony credits, and that is one of the downsides of choosing to do the gun game or the challenge mode. Um, while you're in the middle of those modes, you don't get credit drops. So, if you need credits, uh, don't do them? You know, it's, it's bad for you. Eventually I'll start making bullet hell runs again, but, uh, not today. You got things to do. Oh yeah, so that was gun game. Uh, it was kind of frustrating at times, but it worked. I didn't die. Even though sometimes it came awfully close. But yeah, that's it for another successful run. Now we have finally uh, found all the NPCs. Um, we are only one master round away from completing the, uh, the shortcuts. And, uh, uh, well, I'll get there eventually, I guess. But yeah. That is going to be it for this episode of Enter the Gungeon. Until next time, aim true.